Hi, this is Celeste with the Celeste Report, and today we are going to talk about assisted migration for the different kinds so that we could survive climate change or they could survive climate change, including plants and animals, relocating them to new homes. And this is especially provocative given the announcement by FEMA of new exercises on mass migration and relocation. I just find it interesting. So it's they're not even always talking about mankind. They are also talking about plants and animals. So they're talking about destruction of habitat. Some of this is going to become apparent here in just a few seconds. And that some species are mobile, like for instance, deer or elk, but others like the giant redwoods are not. You know, they're kind of in a fixed position. So what should we do? Should we go ahead and dig up the giant redwoods and place them in a new location? Um, That's going to require uh, people to do that. Unfortunately, this is a global situation that we are experiencing. So where is the safe haven? Many of you are asking that question. I'm asking that question. Where is safe for plants, animals, or mankind to be? So now, under the auspices of the UN and friends, people are experimenting with assisted migration or relocating the species to help them survive in a rapidly changing environment. The changes on Earth are being caused by unnatural experimentation at a massive scale. Massive relocation of kinds will not help this problem because it's global. Lest you think I am making this up, here are some recent article titles from the agenda point of view, if you choose to read them. Okay, so here we go. Climate change destroys habitats. Relocation of animals is tricky. Last resort, moving endangered species in order to save them. Three, can we save the redwoods by helping them move? Four, can humans help trees outrun climate change? Five, as tree species face decline, assisted migration gains popularity in the Pacific Northwest. The Forest Service is experimenting with relocating tree species to save them from the climate change. But where are they taking them that's safe? I'm not sure. Is it Mars? I don't know. Uh, So... The question also begs to be asked, are they going to relocate native species or invasive species? Hmm. The distinction blurs as the world warms. Species need to help with habitat and route protection, protection from human destruction, such as hunting and bycatching. Species are dealing with altered habitats and the shifting and timing of key biological events. They're actually letting the cat out of the bag. So what they're saying here is that they're not going to let you hunt or fish anymore, and that there are some key biological events that are going to take place in our future. So here are a few more titles of articles that you might want to just entertain. From turtles to fruit bats, migratory species increasingly under threat, says the UN. Unnatural barriers, how the boom in fences is harming wildlife. So there go your fences, everybody. For some birds, a taxi helps recalibrate out of sync migrations. Here's how science is trying to conserve the monarch butterflies forest. So everything on Earth needs to migrate. But where is this safe harbor? Not on Earth. This is a radical program to get you to buy in to the extremism wildlands project that basically eliminates humans from the landscape of planet Earth. And it will only be for synthetic life forms because they are eradicating all of the original design life forms. This is Celeste with the Celestial Report. Sobering thought. God bless you and we will see you the next time.